Yay! <laughs> Hi, Leo. Ready to eat? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me go through today's menu with you. Today we're serving salads, vegan burgers, and my favorite, super special ice cream sundaes. Ah, so you want the super special ice cream sundae. Good choice, Leo. I'll be right back with your ice cream after taking the rest of the orders. What would you like to order today, Moo? Chickens! Uh, Moo, we don't have any chicken on the menu. Oh, you want the salad. No worries, Moo. One vegan burger. Oh, you'd like a salad instead of a burger? <laughs> so you want the burger as well. No worries. One salad and one vegan burger coming right up. So what'll it be, June? A super special ice cream sundae. Awesome choice, June. Coming right up. A vegan burger for you, Ziggy. <clears throat> <laughs> I see. You want three vegan burgers. Hi, Bip. I've got all the orders here. Uh, Dr. P? Can you tell me how many of each dish I need to make? <laughs> no worries, Bip. We sure can. Now that we've got all the orders, can you help count how many of each dish Bip needs to make? Awesome! So, now we know what everyone has ordered, let's add up the dishes in each column and see what the total number is for each dish. We have a total of one, two, two salad orders. We need one, two, three, four. Four burgers. And we have one, two, two orders of the super special ice cream sundae. Okay, Bip. So now you know how many of each dish you need to make. Cool. Thanks, Dr. P. There you go, Leo. One super special ice cream sundae. It sure is a lot of ice cream for one person. Bip, we're missing one super special ice cream sundae for June. Uh-oh, Dr. P. We're all out of ice cream. June, I'm so sorry. We don't have any more super special ice cream sundaes. Oh, that's very nice of you, Leo. Aw, oh, that sure is a special Sunday. Enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> Hi, Toto. I've got an awesome new game we can play while we wait for it to stop raining. Yay! It has toy money and toy food, so we can pretend we're shopping. I'll play the shop owner, and you can be my customer. What can I get you today, Toto? Apple. One apple coming up. The apple costs one panda dollar. The rice costs three panda dollars and seven cents. Banana. The banana costs two panda dollars. <laughs> okay, let's see how many panda dollars you have. So you have ten one dollar notes, one five cent piece, and five one cent pieces. Now all we need to do is work out how many dollars and cents you need to give me. Uh... 
No worries, Toto. Let's see. Can you help Toto figure out how much he needs to give me for his shopping? Great! So, Toto is buying one apple, one packet of rice, and one banana. The apple costs one panda dollar. The rice costs three panda dollars and seven cents. The banana costs two panda dollars. Let's work out how many of the panda dollars we need first. One and three and two add up to... Six! That's right! You need to give me six of the panda dollars. But how much do you need to give me in cents? Well, the packet of rice costs three dollars and seven cents. Toto has given me the three dollars, but he still needs to give me the seven cents. Toto has one five cent piece and five one cent pieces. So, which coins does he need to make seven? That's five cents. How many of the one cent coins do we need to make seven cents? Two! <laughs> That's right, Toto! Five and two make seven! So you give me one five cent piece and two one cent pieces. Now you've paid for all your shopping! Toto, you really are hungry. <laughs> hey, it stopped raining. Why don't we go to the store and buy you a real apple? <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> hey there, Moo. Are you ready to sell your cupcakes? Oh, I see. You've got different numbers of cupcakes in the boxes, so everyone can ask for the number they want. Oh, you got your first customer already. Ah, looks like Hoopa's super hungry, Moo. He wants four cupcakes. <laughs> Hoopa's decided he'd like one more cupcake, please, Moo. Uh-oh, that box is empty, Moo. You've given Hoopa zero cupcakes. The first box Moo gave Hoopa had four cupcakes in it. The second box Moo gave to Hoopa had nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Four plus zero is... Yep, four. Zero means nothing. So no more cupcakes have been added. <laughs> Hoopa sure loves your cupcakes, Moo. They're nearly all gone. Hi, Dr. P. Hi, Moo. Uh, I would like to have a box of three of your most awesome cupcakes, please. <laughs> oh, awesome. Phew, Moo. You had enough boxes. And now there's only one box left. Oh! Oh, Moo, thanks, but, uh... I can really only eat three cupcakes. Are you sure you don't want an extra cupcake dip? Yeah, I'm sure, Dr. P. Oh. oh, but there's nothing inside. Let's see what happens when you take zero away from something. The first box Moo gave to Bip had three cupcakes in it. The second box Moo gave to Bip was a box with nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Bip gave the box back to Moo, so 
he took zero away from what he had. Three take away zero is... Hey, yep, three. Zero means nothing. So nothing has been taken away from Pip's box of cupcakes. Zero. <laughs> You're right. There are zero cupcakes left, Toto. But I think there might be a few in the chicken's tummies. <laughs> but they're so hungry. That was an awesome basketball game, Dr. P. Toto did some great moves. We should have filmed it. Yeah. Shall I get some drinks for us, Bip? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dr. P. Hey, Toto, check out this new game I got on my tablet. It's the coolest game ever. Yay! Uh, hang on. I just need to put in my password number. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh I can't remember my password. Don't worry. I have all my passwords safely written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Ice cold drinks all round. Uh -oh. Whoa, looks like you need a towel to dry you off, Bip. Oh no, I can't read the last numbers. Can you remember what they were? No, but I remember that I used a pattern. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure out the pattern you used. Pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself, Toto. Oh. Can you help Bip figure out his password? Awesome. Looks like Bip is using a number pattern for his password. All we need to do is figure out what the last two numbers of the password are. <laughs> cool! Let's see if we can find the pattern in these numbers. 251 251 2 So the numbers are repeating themselves after every third number. 251 251 do you know what comes after the two? Juice! <laughs> That's true, Toto. There is a lot of juice after number two, but we are looking for the next numbers in the pattern. Um, five, one. Let's try it out. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two... Five and one. Yes! We're in! Yay! Oh, cool. Thanks, Dr. P. I got some more juice. I'm just going to show Toto another game. It's really awesome. And it's about numbers, too. Um... Uh-oh, Bip. Looks like we've got to work out another number pattern. Okay. But what about another game of basketball Yay! first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey there, Bip. Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. What's that? Uh-oh, the bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station, fast! Oh no, it's too late! You're out of fuel, Bip! Too bad about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news. It is good news. That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road. Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? Let's
Let's cheer Bip and Leo on and shout push. Ready, steady, push. Uh, 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 ha. Yes, you did it. Whoa. <laughs> Richie, can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, the tank is full. Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. <laughs> okay, Richie. How much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great! We need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So, how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two! Wow, Toto! You're so smart! Because ten minus eight equals two. Richie needs to give Bip two dollars back. Good job, guys. And now it's time to drive Leo home. <laughs> Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys. Richie, the wind blew all the gloves off the stands. <laughs> no worries, Richie. We'll help you put them back. Each of these clothes stands can wear two gloves. So we need to put all these gloves into pairs of two. We'll need an even number of gloves. Even? An even number can be divided into two equal groups. Odd numbers can't be divided into two equal groups. All numbers are either odd or even. Let's see if we can divide this big pile of gloves into pairs of two. Let's get counting. One, two. Two gloves make a pair. Three, four. That's another group of two. That means we have another pair of gloves. Five, six. We've got another pair of gloves. Seven. Hmm. We only have seven gloves. Seven is an odd number. We need one more to make it an even number. Now, where could that last glove be? Can you spot the last glove? Those gloves sure have a good grip, Richie. That makes eight. That means that two, four, six, and eight are even numbers. Oops, that wind blew your socks off, Richie. Uh, we'll help you get the socks back on the stands. Each of these stands should wear two socks. We need an even number of socks. Even. <laughs> That's right, Toto. Let's see if we have an even or an odd number of socks. We've got one, two socks. That's a pair. Now three, four. That's another pair. Five. Looks like we are missing one. Can you find the missing sock? 
<laughs> Suck. Good job! There it is! We found six socks! And we could divide them evenly. That means two, four, and six are even numbers. Okay, let's see, Richie. You have one, two, three, four, five hats. What kind of number do you think five is, Toto? Even or odd? Odd. Okay, let's see if we can divide the five hats equally. One, two, three, four. Toto, you were right. Five is an odd number. When you try to divide an odd number, there is always one left over. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still have a hat yeah. left over. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, cool. You found my hat, Dr. P. Awesome work, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi there, Moo. Ooh. Are you all ready for the fruit swap day? <laughs> awesome! Hiya, Dr. P. Hiya, Toto and Moo. Oh, look at all this yummy fruit. What did you guys bring to swap? We have some super sweet strawberries. Oh, nice. I brought a juicy apple. Mmm, I sure would like to have some of those strawberries. Sure thing. Have a look at Moo's sign to see how many strawberries you will get for one apple. Uh, I'm not sure. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure it out. Can you help Bip figure out how many strawberries he can get for one apple? Awesome! Let's take a look at Moo's exchange rate. Okay, so... One watermelon equals four apples. One apple equals two oranges. And one orange equals three strawberries. Bip has one apple. Apple. Bip wants to swap his apple for some strawberries. But how many strawberries can Bip get for his one apple? Let's see if we can figure it out. We know Bip can get three strawberries for one orange. And we know Bip can get two oranges for one apple. So, one orange equals three strawberries. And Bip can get two oranges for his one apple. Each orange is worth three strawberries. So, if Bip swaps his one apple for two oranges, and each orange can be swapped for three strawberries, then how many strawberries can Bip get for two oranges? Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six! <laughs> That's right! If we add up all the strawberries, we have six strawberries. Two oranges can be swapped for six strawberries. So if one apple equals two oranges and two oranges equals six strawberries, we can say one apple is equal to six strawberries. Oh, cool! <laughs> Oh, oh, thanks, Moo. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> hey, Hoopa. That's an awesome-looking watermelon. What are you going to swap it for? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Moo, what can you swap for some strawberry jam? <laughs> Mimi's shopping for her party this afternoon, so let's see what she needs to buy. One pineapple, two bottles of apple juice, three lollipops, four balloons, 
and five party hats. All done? Awesome! Now you can pay Richie at the cash register. Maybe you should check you haven't forgotten anything, Maymay. Uh-oh, your phone is out of batteries. No worries, Maymay. It's a good thing I used my memory to store your list. <laughs> it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Maymay count her groceries? Let's get started. Let's see, Maymay needs one pineapple. How many pineapples are there? That's one. One pineapple! Oh, careful, Richie! Pineapples can be prickly! May May needs two bottles of apple juice. Let's count how many she has. One... Hmm... Hmm... You only have one bottle of apple juice, May May, but you need two! Now you have two bottles! <laughs> awesome! May May needs three lollipops. Can you count how many she has? One, two. Uh oh, May May needs three lollipops, but she only has two. So, how many lollipops is May May missing? You got it! May May needs one more lollipop. Quick as you can, May May! You don't want to keep the other shoppers waiting. Here we go. Three lollipops. <laughs> All right. Mimi needs four balloons. Let's count how many she has. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Okay. The last item on Mimi's list are the five party hats for her guests. Huh? But where are the party hats, Maymay? Oh, I get it! You've invited everyone to your party! One, two, three, four hats! Hang on, where's the fifth party hat? Oh, <laughs> looks like we can have the party right here! Yeah! Search for Dr. Panda! Stick around for more Toto Time episodes and be sure to subscribe to our channel! Yay! <laughs>